Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to start off with no distractions. So I know it's kind of hard to not do distractions without toddlers around, um, but just try and take it at a time, maybe during nap time that you can practice, because um, the first few sessions I want it to be without Rocco and DeLuca around. So as you can see, I've tried to pick a baby gate area and kept Dali on the other side. Um, I will be honest, uh, actually I'll just show you now. I'm gonna walk away. Is she doing anything? Okay, come with me then. She is now. Okay. All right, well, <laughs> basically, if I were to leave the situation completely, Dahlia most likely would kind of start whining, knock this over, or maybe even jump over it. So, um, I'm just gonna kind of stay closer. The biggest thing I want you to focus specifically in your training is that you're not gonna give Aja a lot of attention. So for instance, what I'm gonna do is every once in a while, I'm just gonna kind of toss treats behind me. Find it. She can't find it, you can just tell her to, but I just don't want you to give her any attention. I want it to be, yes, kind of nonchalant, just tossing the treat back and forth. Um, I don't want Aja to think that your attention equals this game. The biggest thing I want you to pay attention to is, yes, every time you give a treat to Aja, I want you to say yes. Um, just for the instance of in a couple of weeks when we're practicing, um, you may start to not give a treat and just say yes. Um, or in the future, this summer, when you don't have a treat, because right now I want you to have lots of treats, um, then you can just say yes instead of giving the actual treat. All right, so I'm going to take a bunch of video of this now, and you can kind of get an idea. Yes. Yes. Okay, so once you've practiced this for a couple of weeks, just that first segment, you're gonna wanna start adding some sound to some things. So in your first write-up, I asked you to list some things that you think triggered Aja to get really excited when she knows people come over, uh, when she knows people are coming over. So the biggest thing I want you to start doing is practicing some of those things. Uh, for me, it's when I am saying, okay, I'll be right there, I'll let you in, or who's here? or um, if I start knocking on the door. So I'm gonna start triggering Dahlia so you can kind of see her response and then how I want you to practice it. Oh, sure, okay, I'll hold on, I'll let you right in. Oh my gosh, who's here? Who's here? Oh, okay, well, like that. <laughs> so, so, for instance, <laughs> okay, break down. Good girl. So, as you saw, that is some of Dahlia's triggers and she was not gonna put up with that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and now practice some of these things while I'm not in the context of actually having someone come in the house. So, knocking on the door. Yes. <gasps> Who's here? Who's here? Yes. Now, for instance, this is all gonna be different for you, but you can kind of get that concept um, that that is the next level of, so for the first couple of weeks, you're just going to practice that first segment. And for the second couple of weeks before our follow, or the next couple of weeks after our follow-up, you're going to practice that second tier of distractions. Um, I'm gonna cut it here because Dahlia's getting pretty wound up because I've gone way too fast in the training process.